So, Rami, uh, Juniper has been on a streak of better than expected earnings for a while now. Your stock is doing very well. What's next for Juniper? Yeah, you know, Juniper is right now at a heart of what is a massive transformation that's happening in the networking industry, a movement towards the cloud. Uh, when you think about the kinds of challenges that one needs in developing this cloud, IP network innovation is really the center of that action, and that's the business that Juniper is in. Let's talk a little bit about this enormous transition because uh, customers are going from uh, big routing machines, the kinds of hardware that Juniper is famous for, and to cheaper, smaller, uh, software-based uh, solutions. What does this mean for Juniper? It is an opportunity for us. Juniper invests 85% of our, all of our R&D in software. That will not change, but what will change is the monetization of what we do will become more tied to software in the future. It's a matter of trend in the industry. It's also a matter of our strategy in the company. What does this mean for your customers? Do you think that you're going to lose some customers or is the mix going to change? Not at all. In fact, uh, if you think about the kinds of conversations and projects we're working with our customers on, they're very much tied to the new future ways of delivering value and services to end users, being enterprise or services, and delivering that value in the form of software that sits on in the, in the cloud or sits on customer premises equipment is very much a part of the strategy that we're executing on. Let me put you on the spot a little bit. Uh, John Chambers of Cisco uh, told me recently that the number one reason that many companies fail is they miss market transitions. Mm -hmm. uh, in that context, is Juniper going to be a disruptor or a, vic uh, a victim of disruption? Juniper was born in this industry as a challenger to the status quo. We are a Silicon Valley success, successful startup that entered into the scene in a way that wanted, um, where we wanted to provide a solution that was different than what was already out there. So being a disruptor, a challenger to the status quo is very much part of our DNA and it's, in, it's an incredibly important part of my job to ensure that that challenger mentality lasts with us throughout you know, t till today and into the future. We're seeing a wave of mergers and acquisitions, as you know, and uh, Juniper's name always comes in up as a acquisition target. Are you open to something like that? You know, I think this industry, with all the changes and the transformation that's happening, requires a company that's dedicated and focused on IP network innovation. It's the heart of this transition that's happening around the world. Uh, and it deserves a pure play innovator like Juniper. So we're operating as a company that is a pure play innovator in networking.